What is going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. So, Cinema Cat Elite Creature Collectibles has finally put the unkillable bust up for PO. This was shown at, I believe it was the, the heck's that event called? Well, I believe it was shown at San Diego Comic Con, possibly WonderCon, and that like horror con. You know, it's been shown at a few cons now. And it's definitely come out to me as one of the cooler pieces that ECC's done in the past. Especially, like, at the booth, they had this. They had this, like, spider reaper, almost like the blade reaper, but they, you know, altered it. So this is a concept piece. It's not from any particular movie, but it is a zombie bust, a horror bust. You know, there's a description here imagining your worst nightmare come true. You're being, you know, pursued by this freaking zombie and you've done everything you can but it's just unrelentless and then you basically nailed it to the ground staked it put barbed wire and just left a note saying it's unkillable run while you can uh and this is uh what steve wang who if you're unfamiliar who he is he has worked in the past on movies like the predator helping you know design the predator suit he's very famous sculptor you know not just with ecc but also movies the guy's an absolute legend. You know, a lot of my favorite statues are ECC statues. So, you know, I've met the guy in person as well. And his wife, Mio Nakamura, she is one of the main sculptors as well at ECC. And she's a phenomenal sculptor. You know, like she sculpted my fawn, for example. So here is the unkillable. Absolutely awesome. Such a cool concept. You have like this green blood acid type goo blood effect. And you can see all the guts right here. Very cool. The barbed wire going right there. It looks like it's not loading. All right, check out that portrait. So its mouth has been split open. See the, like, literally through the mouth right here. Uh, it does have custom glass eyes, and the eyes actually do look really well done. You know, like, you zoom in on that. Look at that. It's like bloodshot blue. Very cool. This is translucent resin. You can see quite a bit of a glossy effect. There's also what looks like burn marks here, like the black on the translucent resin skin. So, very, very cool. Great skin texture. It definitely kind of reminds me of, like, my Reaper bust with glass eyes uh, being a zombie. You know, kind of like the idea. You know. The base is, honestly, <laughs> this base is so similar to my gizmo over there. Uh, like, literally, they took the exact mold, just removed Gizmo and that, uh, you know, liquid gremlin and just did this. And this has almost a similar effect of my liquid gremlin just being that green goo. You know, it's very similar. Same nameplate, same sized base. It's literally spot on the same. It looks even like the same size. So they definitely did reuse that for sure. Uh... You know, companies do that all the time, like reusing bases. So they definitely reused the base, though. So, yeah, it's 22 inches wide, 20 inches deep. That's like my gizmo. Now, this is limited to $299, but the cutoff date is February 28th. So if they don't hit that many, like let's say they only sell 150, that's going to be the addition size. That's what ECC does. And I actually wish all companies were like this, where if they don't hit, like very limited, they only make the exact amount of pre-orders and, you know, they're never going to redo the bust, you know, with a color scheme like Prime 1, which I always hate. Price, 2200 big ones. Shipping is about 300 bucks. So you're about 2500 all in for this bust. Now, in comparison, you know, the more recent ECC bust out was the Fun 1980. So it has increased in price. You know, their typical busts in the past have always been about, you know, 
eighteen, nineteen hundred dollars. You know, look at like Draxian, that's quite a detail one, fifteen eighty. So you can see it's inflation, Pennywise, nineteen eighty. Freddie and Jason, which are massive bus, eighteen hundred. So it is actually like their most expensive bus now. Gizmo, nineteen hundred. Yeah, so I mean, Lycan, what was that? Twelve fifty. Look at that. Goodness, and I paid twenty five hundred for mine. The Reaper, I believe, is also nine hundred bucks. God, I paid fourteen hundred for my Reaper bust. Let's see, how much is the Shape of Water bus? Sixteen hundred. So this is like their most expensive bus to date. It almost seems seven fifty. I mean, how much was the Medusa bus? That was quite a while ago, too. That bus is huge. Okay, Medusa is more expensive, twenty four hundred. Is that in stock? Limited stock. I don't know if that's true, but sometimes they'll get old stock in. So yeah, I mean it definitely is a pricey bus. Twenty two hundred plus shipping, twenty five hundred. The question begs: Should Flankster get this? So let's analyze my horror collection as of now. Now, technically, I can take a little bit of the AVP wall if I wanted to. I don't truly have to make this all AVP. You know, if I put that bust back right there and do, I mean, it really depends if I'm going to do Prime 1 at the wall, but I could technically free up that entire shelf and throw the ECC Unkillable right there. I could, you know, and then keep Lord of Darkness there. That would actually fit. Uh, there's a few different things I can do. Uh, now it is a concept piece. Now I do own a few concept pieces already in the collection right there to right there is all concept. Technically, none of it is from an exact movie, but it does represent a movie for me. You know, this represents the mummy, uh, trilogy. And then this represents clash of Titans, even though it's a concept piece like that. Medusa is not the actual Medusa from clash of Titans, but she's somewhat, you know, similar and it represents Medusa for me. Same with Cyclops and the Mummy and Anubis, you know, from Mummy 1 and 2. So, I do like concept pieces. They're unique pieces of art. They don't necessarily have to represent one specific movie. So, this being a zombie bus, it really is hard to get, like, an exact zombie per se. I mean, unless you get someone like Nemesis from Resident Evil. So, you know, because zombies all look completely different. But this is definitely a sick-looking zombie bus. I do love zombies. My current only zombie pieces are Resident Evil. So I do love this unkillable bus. I think it's very unique. And I think if I got it in the collection, it'd definitely be a piece that stands out in the horror. You know, you know, I think of all my horror pieces, it'd probably stand out the most. Even though, like, it's obviously not better than, like, my Pennywise. I think if everyone's to look at all my busts, that one will be like, whoa, that's freaky. Versus my other ones. It's just that freaky looking. You know, I don't necessarily think that bus is better than like Freddy, Jason, uh, Fawn, or Pale Man. I would probably put it at least on par with Pale Man and Fawn. Uh, but not better than Freddy or Jason, my Pennywise, or none. But I definitely do love it. It is very expensive though. 2500 is a lot of money. That can, you know, that's, that's a lot of money, no doubt. So, and you have to PO it though if you want it. So I have literally... A month and a half to decide if I want this. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I, of course, my biggest reason I won't get it is due to limited funds, not necessarily just space, but I, you know, have to consider it's $2,500. And if I did get it, would I cancel other pre-orders? I'll have to sell something to get it. So I, those are my biggest reasons of not getting it. Not that I don't like it and not that I can't fit it because I technically can fit it even though it does clutter up the collection a little bit, you know. But, yeah, that's just kind of my two cents and my thought process on this right now. I do want it, of course, but it's going to, you know, put more horror on the AVP wall. And if I put that there, I'm definitely just going to keep Lord of Darkness there. And technically, I could even just put Red Sony and Vampirella there and do Lord of, uh, the Unkillable bus there and still have space for something else there, you know. But, yeah. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are any of you guys going to be picking up this unkillable bust uh, by ECC? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.